So uh, today, uh, my major plan of uh, going live on this uh, specific uh, YouTube channel uh, is nothing but in order to, means I'm planning to do uh, like uh, recurrent uh, live sessions on uh, different interview preparation or we can say interview guidance. Uh, so on top of it, I think uh, today I opted for a topic called as uh, data science uh, interview challenges. So what are all the kind of challenges uh, every learner is going to face whenever they are getting into data science interviews is something uh, which I just want to uh, speak about. So uh, in lines of that, I think um, I just want to uh, means like uh, I just want to go with any timing means I'm not specific here uh, for a specific timing which suits to the learners so why in the sense now I'm having a constraint of uh, so every day morning I'm planning like 11 or 12 uh, so today the, I'm able to uh, make some time so I thought of going for the live and I just want to speak some topics on uh, what are all the data science interview challenges every learners are uh, facing it so in this way, each day I'm planning for each different type of topic. Uh, one day on AWS challenges, one day on uh, machine learning challenges, interview challenges. And again, uh, I will be uh, picking up some uh, interview questions and we will be going for it. And I will be explaining how you need to explain this kind of interview questions. In this way, I'm just uh, thinking towards uh, going for uh, all the interview preparation related stuff i think let's see how it going to work so uh, today our major plan or major content is what are all the data science uh, interview challenges we are able to face uh, is something i think uh, i just want to speak or i just want to discuss about so uh, i'm doing a lot of uh, i think free call consulting so i'm doing a lot of paid call consulting and all that so whenever i'm uh, speaking with all these people i'm able to listen few uh, interview challenges which is nothing but can't I am updating my resume so some people are giving me the calls and some people are not giving me the calls so people who gave me the calls they are saying uh, so can't uh, so do, do you worked on any real-time uh, projects for example we can say one of the real-time challenge here it can be like uh, have you worked on any uh, real-time project or not So uh, one of the very first challenge we can see, have you worked on any real-time project or not comes, uh, com uh, comes into the first point. Uh, whenever we get into the real-time uh, interview challenges, I think every data scientist is facing. So apart from uh, real-time projects, another one is like uh, whenever an interview, whenever uh, the learner is getting into the interview, they are asking the question, uh, so who is your uh, project uh, team members? So where you got the data? Who is your client? So what are the parameters you collected for your particular project? So uh, why you have selected this particular algorithm? So why you uh, want to go with this specific uh, what is that project or how you decided with this metrics as your uh, one of the evaluation metrics so how you decided between uh, how, so how you deployed your model after deploying the model what exactly you have done and uh, some more uh, interview challenges going to be like uh, so now uh, so why seriously you worked on this particular project if not this algorithm so which algorithm you can go with so seriously your project demands an algorithm seriously your project demands one of the uh, machine learning approach or is it seriously required or not required so in this way there are a lot of uh, interview challenges which we are able to see means the learner is having lot of questions so for example he is preparing all the algorithms he is getting into the market is getting into the industry he is preparing his profile hey i completed the training from this institute or from this uh, uh, online portal or something but end of the day he is ending up with a lot of challenges like so uh, where exactly uh, who is the team member i think no one teaches in the courses i think uh, who who are who, how, how exactly you got your data no one teaches in in our courses so why you selected this algorithm no one teaches in the courses so how why you selected this evaluation metric no one teaches in the courses so these are all the kind of challenges which uh, the learners are facing so now uh, again even though if this this persons are very good with algorithms again they're asking hey you went with random forest so why you went with random forest algorithm what is the math behind random forest algorithm so if not random forest algorithm which algorithm you will be going with so in this way i think mostly they're asking about algorithm math
So the second point we are able to see the algorithm math where exactly you get the data. Where you get data, where you get the client. In this way there are a lot of kind of things. So now if you are able to address these challenges and if you are able to fix the real time projects, if you are able to understand the math behind the algorithm, if you are able to understand the end to end flow of the project from uh, which methodology you are using in your company or which methodology you used in your project. Uh, to how you got your data, to uh, how you selected the algorithm, so what are the parameters or what are the features in your data, so uh, all this kind of challenges. So again, what are all the challenges you face in the project? Fourth one. So challenges faced in the project. What are all the challenges you faced in the project? Again, they will be asking what are all the challenges you faced in the project. They may ask you how you replaced every uh, null value with uh, what, is, what, what is the right technique you chosen in order to handle the null values. What is the right technique you have chosen to go with the outliers? So what is the difference between the precision? What is the difference between the recall? Uh, what is the difference between precision recall and the separability? And what is the latency of your app? So when you go with a web app or when you go with the normal uh, just like uh, getting the accuracy kind of thing. So why you need to do the model uh, monitoring? So what exactly meant by model drift? In this way there are a lot of challenges uh, challenges every learners are facing so now they are learning the courses they are preparing all the courses and they are uh, getting into uh, the market and they are like uh, completely blank when the, whenever they are facing the interviews they are completely blank they are in a position oh my god i don't know all these kind of questions they they, they know how to uh, import pandas they know like uh, how exactly to deal with some visualizations everyone are pretty much familiar with how to handle uh, the machine learning uh, uh, splitting the data into train data test data and uh, again uh, going with the evaluation and then uh, getting some accuracy results they, they are very good with all this kind of thing I don't say the problem is with the learners because of lack of awareness they don't have this awareness so these are all the kind of questions I think or the challenges every learner is facing and they are contacting me Kant uh, we want the mentorship on these challenges wherever we are having the issue I think we want the challenges why in the sense everyone are teaching or everyone are focused towards uh, learning the courses but everyone are lacking with one major problem the mentorship while they are preparing for the interviews so that's what I thought of uh, doing some YouTube videos and uh, doing all this and even with my uh, data science career transition program where we are going with end-to-end uh, -end support where the person uh, complete a course and even they go with mentorship until they get placed and even after getting into the industry we will be supporting them uh, so this is what we are doing. So uh, as a part of it, these are all the kind of challenges what every learner is facing. So they are lacking with real time projects. They are lacking with the algorithm math. So every learner, you need to keep one thing in the brain algorithm math is very important if you just say I used a random forest that doesn't work if you used a linear regression that doesn't work so you need to know why linear regression so when you need to use linear regression and where exactly you need to use your linear regression model so what are the assumptions behind your linear regression model so what is the math behind linear regression model what happens if there is a gradient descent approach what happens if there is an OLS approach we need to be aware of so again if you are going into the deep learning point of view again what the different types of optimizers we have it like there are different types of optimizers there is a gradient descent optimizer again there is your RMS optimizer or we call it as RMS prop or there is a momentum optimizer there is a nag optimizer there is your ADA grad, ADA delta. So uh, there is your ADAM optimizer. In this way, there are different types of optimizers available. Now again, everything we decide between the algorithms with respect to the math behind the algorithm. So when you look onto a business process, you are able to see, okay, this is the math. So based on the business process, you need to search for the right algorithm or the right mathematical equations, which going to suit to your business problem and you are trying to go for it. So. Uh, this is very important whenever you are getting into the real time projects I think uh, algorithm math is very important so uh, the challenge again I see from the learners is now there is a huge amount of algorithm math the, the, the student knows a very good algorithm math again they are asking hey man you don't have this uh, real time projects 
you don't have this real time project so uh, how can i hire you means this is something i witnessed it from lot of learners they are speaking about deep learning they are speaking about machine learning they are speaking about natural language processing they are speaking about aws amazon web services but end of the day they are saying hey you haven't worked on this you you haven't worked on any real time project okay then now uh, we don't consider you or uh, whatever the deep learning skill you got we don't consider your deep learning skill as an real time experience we don't take your uh, we don't take the deep learning as a consideration why this person never worked on a real time project on deep learning so this people are treating this as uh, one of the pain area or one of the challenge so uh, whenever we are getting into uh, the data science job profile or whenever we are getting into uh, in any time whenever you are preparing for data science or machine learning or ai all these job profiles we need to make sure we are trying to uh, have this few things like at least the real time projects in your profile or you need to have you need to have a very good algorithm math and you need to know about the end to end flow where you got the data so who who exactly gave you the data who is your team members so what are the parameters you have in your data you need to know these things why and since people who are attending the interviews they going to understand it yes can these are the kind of questions i am facing it and uh, you are you are having a trouble in order to make the transition completely 100% successful and uh, again challenges what exactly what are the kind of challenges you are facing in your uh, real time uh, projects i think this is also one of the very uh, key element i think every learner need to focus so if you are if you are not good with any of this a few points i think whatever i noted it down i think you may find some uh, uh, issue or some problem with your real time stuff and uh, what i am planning with the youtube uh, here is like i will be focusing on each different segment and we will be covering it in the live sessions uh, in the live youtube stuff so you are able to get uh, some uh, understanding you are able to get some uh, feel okay this is how it happens so yeah, this is what i am trying to uh, do this as simple as that so uh, the next uh, youtube uh, mostly live i will be going with means i'm not going i'm not planning for a very lengthy timings so uh, mo mostly live i will be planning around 11 to 12 uh, in the morning time and uh, on this time at least i will be trying to take few interview questions and i try to answer it in my style okay if this is the interview questions let's imagine uh, what is the difference so why you need to use an roc curve i think how i answer it in my real time interviews or tell me about uh, any one algorithm how i answer it in my real time interview so i just want to share my views i think here in this particular uh, youtube lives i think uh, not only on data science on all like aws devops big data and all this kind of thing let's see how exactly uh, it going to work so uh, whenever we are getting into the data science stuff or whenever we are getting into uh, the interview preparation stuff we need to know exactly know okay this is the exact uh, figure or this is the kind of exact uh, structure we need to answer why in the sense uh, no one teaches how you need to speak in the interviews everyone teaches about their own uh, data science content so i just want to teach you how i explain the interview questions how i explain the things how i try to uh, explain the math behind the algorithm how i explain this how i get the data how i explain the challenges all this kind of thing i will be doing it as a series from now and uh, and uh, normally i think if you want to have a full fledged uh, uh, interview preparation thing you can hire me as a mentor or you can book uh, uh, what exactly paid call consulting or you can hire me as a mentor for one day or you can go for subscription plan or you can join my career transition programs where i promise uh, 100% high guaranteed than saying uh, job guaranteed if anyone are interested you can do that all the details are there in the description below so uh, for for continuous updates i think i will be uh, sharing my telegram uh, telegram link as well for all the youtube content all the youtube uh, lives which i'm trying to do it everything all the updates going to be there in the telegram so i will be sharing the telegram link as well in my instagram you can check it in the descri description there is an instagram link as well you can go to the instagram there you are able to find the telegram link there i will be update a A, a, every uh, update about youtube videos and all that i will be just doing it you can just uh, join my live sessions uh, every day where exactly we discuss on each challenge of interview preparation or rather than saying interview preparation it's more like interview mentorship kind of thing where we are able to catch every day on the youtube channel so uh, i think uh, there are very few today so there is no much questions here so we will be catching or we will be meeting on tomorrow again at sharp uh, 
maybe 11 or 12 i think you can subscribe to the youtube channel to get the notifications and all that thank you so much So, uh, Srikant, there is a very good uh, growth on the computer vision part. I think whenever you are going into the real time, yes, computer vision is uh, on demand. So, Dan saying uh, computer vision, I feel than a computer vision NLP is more in demand. Why in the sense most of the data is text. Uh, so, you are able to see more demand of uh, natural language processing than compared to your computer vision, uh, Srikant. All right then, so I'm just uh, wrapping off the session. Thank you so much everyone for your uh, time. So see you on another live on tomorrow. Thank you.